League pennant. Unbelievable, what a finish. As dramatic a finish as you'd ever want to see. With all that delay, we told you Littell had to be a little upset. And only Kyle Chambliss hits one over the fence. He is being mobbed by the fans. And this field will never be the same, but the Yankees have won it in the bottom of the ninth, seven to six. And on the scoreboard, they're flashing, we're number one. And I want to tell you, the safest place to be is up here in the booth. Hello again. This is Mike. I am the sports history collector. And today we are going to talk about the 1976 ALCS and specifically uh, Chris Chambliss' walk-off home run that got the Yankees into the World Series for the first time since 1964. So um, the ALCS for 1976 was uh, pretty heated. It uh, went back and forth. Um, win for the Yankees, win for the Royals, back and forth. So it was 2-2 two to two going into the fifth and final game. Uh, like I said, this was the first time... Uh, since 64, the Yankees would have gone on to the World Series, and this was the first time the Royals had been in the playoffs since they came into the league. So both teams really wanted this. I mean, obviously, everybody wants it when they get in the playoffs, but it meant something to both teams. And um, the Yankees got an early three-run lead uh, going into the uh, bottom of the seventh inning, and um, the Yankees were up, and Royals brought in Mark Littell, uh, Mark Littell had had a pretty good season. Um, he pitched 104 innings in relief, 16 saves, 2.08 ERA. So he was a very reliable reliever. And uh, he came in and got his two outs. So he had pitched uh, two-thirds of an inning at that point. Um, and what we have here is a... Let's see if I can show up. I'm trying a little something a little different this time, so we'll see how it comes out. This is a 1976 SSPC card. It did say 1976, I hope, um, of Mark Littell that it's signed on the front in blue uh, Sharpie. Um, I really like these SSPC cards uh, with the, uh, the more of the portraits and uh, uh, basically they're very plain, but they're I think they're very cool. Anyway, so that's Mark Littell. Uh, going into the top of the eighth inning, Yankees still up three nothing or by three runs, and uh, George Brett, who uh, only had seven home runs during the year, but he did hit three thirty three. Um, George Brett hit a three run home run to tie the game, and uh, this was the first playoff home run for Brett, first of ten in postseason that he would hit in his career, and one of six he would hit in the ALCS games against the Yankees. So he really liked hitting against the Yankees. And this is the 76 George Brett. It is not signed, but as you can see, it's uh, pretty off center. But uh, this is a card that I pulled uh, directly from the pack in 1976. So um, I have a lot of uh, sentimental value for that card. Um, okay, so George Brett ties the game up top of the eighth. Um, the Yankee, uh, Littell comes back out for the bottom of the eighth, mows the Yankees down one, two, three. Um, top of the ninth, um, the Royals don't do anything, so it's still tied. And bottom of the ninth comes, uh, comes up. Uh, Chris Shambliss is the first batter. Mark Littell comes out for his warm-up pitches. And uh, he warms up. Now, this was a cold night in New York. A really bitterly cold uh, night. Everybody pretty much uh, agrees on that. Uh, just about the time Latell was done with his uh, warm-up pitches, and they don't show this a lot on the... If you see clips on YouTube, you can find it, but for the most part, they don't show this. The Yankee fans, whether intentionally or unintentionally, decided to throw a bunch of debris on the field. Um, this caused a delay in the game. So they picked up the debris. Of course, the debris kept coming. In the meantime, Mark Littell is sitting there. He's finished his warm-ups. He's getting cold. So they allow him to do a few more warm-up pitches. It's taken a long time to get the uh, debris off the field. And finally, the umpires make uh, the announcer call. You know, if, if, th if this keeps happening, the Yankees are going to forfeit, which would be 
unprecedented in a, in a playoff game. So I think the Yankee fans had said their piece and, and knew what they were doing. So they um, stopped. They cleaned up the rest of the debris. Again, Latell is maybe throwing one or two pitches, stopping, you know, waiting to see what's going on. Uh, Shambliss the whole time is, is staying warm, kind of trying to stay loose. So play resumes. Shambliss comes up. And you know Latell had to be thinking, I got to get first strike over. He probably figured, you know, that's <laughs> he didn't want to miss uh, at this point. Uh, he's probably stiff. So whether he intentionally grooved one or, you know, it just got away from him, but he threw one down Main Street and Shambliss just hit it into the stands. <laughs> um, and that won the game. And here is the 77 card uh, re representing the 76 ALCS Championship and... I don't know if you can see it as well in this card because there's a lot of dark background, but that is uh, signed by Chris Shambliss as well. Now, um, as you probably saw in the uh, video leading up to this, uh, Shambliss didn't make it around the bases. He never did make it to home. Uh, the fans just all came out of the stands and, and started mobbing everything on the field. Um, so he didn't make it to the stands. He barely made it alive into the dugout. Um, later on, um, the umpires came and got him, and he did a ceremonial uh, go out to the home plate and, and step on home plate, or where home plate would have been, because the fans <laughs> fans had taken all the bases, and they had actually taken home plate. Which, if, if you've ever played ball, you know home plate is in there pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know who's going to bring a crowbar, uh, crowbar to the uh, to a game. But you know, uh, why would they bring lettuce and why would they bring tomatoes? <laughs> Those are fans. Anyway, um, the thing about that, besides being a historic walk off home run, is that it also uh, the league also created what they called the Chris Shambliss rule which basically said if the player can't safely go around the bases because of fans coming on the field and the like um, in a situation like this, they can abandon the effort and go into the dugout and they would do basically what they did um, later on and, and ceremonially, ceremoniously uh, touch home plate. Um, now, this would have been very helpful for another player many years earlier, and that's going to be the topic of another video uh, down the road. But uh, uh, this is the, uh, the historic uh, walk-off home run by Chris Shambliss. And uh, I'm going to um, uh, switch the camera around so you can see I also have a, um, a matted and framed uh, ticket and uh, signed photo as well. So I'll show that and then I'll show everything uh, in stills at the end. So um, uh, first time the Yankees got in to the World Series since 64. Of course, they met a extremely hot Cincinnati Reds team and the Reds won four zip in the World Series. But Yankees realized what they needed to maybe go to that next level and uh, would then get Reggie Jackson and the 77-78 World Series game um, series was uh, history. Here's the framed and matted um, 8x10 and um, ticket stub from that game. It's uh, They're both signed and uh, Chris Shambliss signed uh, on the 8x10 walk-off home run ALCS 10-14-76. Um, I happen to really like this uh, this frame project. I think it came out pretty good and uh, actually in my hallway. So uh, thanks again for watching and um, talk to you soon.